Hey y'all, Mike here from All American Reviews, and today I'm talking about how to find camping gear made in the USA. There are a lot of options out there these days for camping gear, and it can be really tough to tell who's making the good stuff. So in today's video, I'm covering everything from tents to sleeping bags, backpacks, other gear, and a whole lot more, I'm talking about how to spot camping gear made in the USA, my top picks for American-made camping gear, Make sure to stick around to the end of the video where we'll be uncovering where some of the biggest brands in the camping industry are actually made. Now, I've also written about these topics before, so check in the description below for links to those articles where you can just Google All American Reviews best camping gear or whatever specific type of gear that you're searching for, like tents, sleeping bags, or anything else. And as always, if you're passionate about buying American made products, remember to like and subscribe and head over to allamericanreviews.com. There you'll find a ton of research and buying guides on shopping American made. All right, let's get into today's video on, on how to find camping gear made in the USA. First up, let's cover how to spot which camping gear is made in the USA. The camping gear industry is enormous with a global market size expected by 2027 of 7.4 billion. Now the US occupies about 63% of that market share today, Unfortunately, demand for camping gear doesn't always mean that the manufacturing is happening here as well. So to find the camping gear made in the USA, you need to look for where the materials are being sourced from, where the gear is being assembled, obviously, and then a nice fallback is the language that is used on the physical product with regards to the country of origin. Now, since there's so many different subcategories of camping gear to cover, I'm going to take a bit of a different approach to today's format. We're going to combine our usual tips for material sourcing and other criteria with my top picks for camping gear in each of our different subcategories, which I think will help things stay nice and organized. But before I get there, I want to give you all a quick reminder on some general tips around product labeling that applies to camping gear and all other products. We do have some U.S. legislation that helps us identify the country of origin for products we're purchasing in the U.S. Title 19, Chapter 4, Section 1304 of the U.S. Code basically mandates that the country of origin be labeled on the physical product or the packaging very clearly for products that are imported. Now, unfortunately, that doesn't apply to marketing materials, so you may not find the country of origin on their website, in which case, just give the brand a call or shoot us a message at All American Reviews and we'll find out for you. For more telltale signs on which products are made in the USA, I have a full video on that topic, which I'll link to in the description below, as well as the cards in this video. All right, let's get into it. Our top picks and some tips for finding great American-made camping gear. If you have any favorites that I don't mention, make sure to give them a shout out in the comments below. And like I said earlier, if you want to view our full research on any camping gear topics, I've linked those below, or you can just Google All American Reviews and whatever camping gear you're searching for. First up, let's cover sleeping bags. There's really two main materials to look out for when it comes to sleeping bags, the shell and the fill. A sleeping bag shell is typically made from one of three different fabric groups. Your cheaper options are probably gonna be made with something like nylon, polyester, or taffeta. They are definitely cheaper, but just not as durable as some other shell fabrics. Ripstop is another common shell fabric. It's basically just a more durable version of nylon. And dry loft is another popular shell material because of how water resistant it is. There are some good sourcing options for all three of these different fabric groups for U.S. manufacturers to find stuff domestically, but from what we found, a lot of manufacturers are sourcing these fabrics from overseas. U.S. sourcing is also incredibly difficult when it comes to the fill of the sleeping bag. Inside the shell, you're probably going to find one of a few different materials, either a synthetic fill or a natural one like wool, cotton, or down. Now I've talked about wool and cotton in some previous videos and there's some great US sourcing options for both of those materials, but they do have their downsides for camping. Wool is very warm, but it's pretty heavy to carry around and cotton is a lot cheaper, but it gets wet really easily and it isn't as warm. Goose down is probably the most popular fill material out there for sleeping bags because of its warmth and insulation. However, it's really tough to find goose down sourced in the US. 
Over 70% of the world's goose down is produced in China, and a lot of the remainder comes from Europe and Canada. So don't be surprised if you really can't find a sleeping bag that is 100% made in the USA. Now, there are still some good options out there, which we're gonna cover. First is warm light. So if you're a serious outdoorsman that needs a sleeping bag that can adapt to a lot of different environments, I highly recommend checking out warm light. Their sleeping bag uh, that is their triple sleeping bag has temperature range all the way from negative 60 degrees Fahrenheit to 60 degrees Fahrenheit. So you can really take it in any different situation. Also make sure to check out Western Mountaineering. They have a lot of good options. Although their goose down is sourced from Eastern Europe, everything else is made in the USA. All right, now that we've covered sleeping bags, let's head over to tents. Tent materials come in a few different varieties. A lot of your old school tents are typically made from a thick canvas and a lot are still produced that way today, but it's not the most popular material for backpacking tents just because of how heavy it is. Obviously, there's a lot of good US sourcing options for canvas, but for most lightweight backpacking tents, you're going to find something that is made of nylon or polyester material. There is certainly a decent amount of American manufacturers for those materials, but we are far behind other countries like China in terms of total production of nylon and polyester raw materials. So don't be surprised if you find a lot of American tent manufacturers who are sourcing a lot of these materials from overseas. We found it similar to sleeping bags, a little bit difficult to find folks that are 100% sourced from the US in terms of this material type, but there's still a couple of good options out there that we'll run through, as well as a few other companies that we'll shout out. The other obvious component to look at when it comes to tents is your tent poles. Now, most are made from aluminum, so there is a lot of good sourcing options for US manufacturers in that category. Just something to keep in mind as you're doing your research. So we found a few good American-made options when it comes to tents. First up, Warm Light, making the list again, and they have some of the most storm-resistant tents out there. So if you're doing some serious camping and you're willing to splurge a little bit for a really nice tent, definitely make sure to check out Warm Light. Seek Outside is another good option, with the exception of some small plastic parts, pretty much all their raw materials are US sourced, and they have some really good options for ultralight backpacking tents, as well as some cool TP tents. Bear Paw Wilderness Designs is also great in American made. They are a tent and canopy shop in Wellington, Colorado. Small operation, but really high quality tents. And then if you like to sleep in a hammock, check out Hummingbird Hammocks. Very durable, but also very affordable. All right, moving right along, let's get into backpacks. So when it comes to backpacks, you wanna pay particular attention to the fabric and the hardware here. Backpack fabric runs the gamut in terms of the types of materials being used, everything from canvas to nylon, polyester, and a bunch of other types of materials. The important things to keep in mind here are two things. One, the strength and durability ratings of those materials, as well as the brand names of the materials, which I'll get into why that's important in a second. I'm not going to get into what every little thing means, but the numbers and letters that you typically see next to nylon, polyester, polypropylene, and other materials when you're reading your technical specs on the backpack that you're considering actually translate to a strength and durability rating system. You might see a D for denier rating, T for thread count, or GSM for grams per square meter. Now, I'm not gonna get into the nitty gritty of like every single one of those numbers and what they translate to. Just know the higher the number, typically the more durable and strong the material is. I'll link to a great write-up in the description below if you're curious on learning more about some of those rating systems. You also want to watch out for some brand name materials, which could be a dead giveaway for where that material is sourced from. For example, Kodra Nylon is a very abrasion resistant fabric that is used in a lot of different backpacks. Kodra is actually a brand name and most of their stuff comes out of Korea. Cordura is another popular nylon fabric used in a lot of backpacks. Their manufacturing is a bit more widespread, but only 13 of their 78 licensed supply partners are in the US. If you haven't yet, definitely check out my video on bags made in the USA. I go into a lot more detail on different material types as well as hardware like zippers and other stuff that is used in packs. There are definitely some good American-made options though when it comes to hiking and camping packs. 
If you need a day pack, check out MIS Backpacks. All of them are made in Los Angeles, California, and each of their packs are certified as military specification. They're super durable and really comfortable. Now for more heavy duty backpacking, you have a few options. First up is ULA Equipment. These guys are manufacturing in Logan, Utah, and pretty much use exclusively US sourced manufacturers for all of their raw materials with just a few small exceptions. Second, Exo Mountain Gear is a really good option, especially if you need a hunting pack and most of their raw materials are sourced here as well, and each of them are handmade in their factories. Once again, making the list, Seek Outside makes some really good camping backpacks. They're super lightweight and can get the job done for pretty much any level of camper. And Elemental Horizons is another great manufacturer that y'all should check out. They're a small shop in Southport, North Carolina, but is making all of their backpacks made to order based on your specifications. And lastly, just a couple of other good options that I've mentioned before when talking about backpacks that are good day packs or canoe packs, and that is Duluth Pack and Frost River, which y'all should definitely check out. And one bonus one for y'all, it's not really a backpack, but if you need a waterproof bag to stick your valuables in on a wet hike or a rafting trip or something like that, Lock Sack makes some really good waterproof bags that are made in the USA. All right, let's move on to talk about cookware and a few other related items. Cookware is a bit more straightforward when it comes to material sourcing and what's American made and not. Most camping cookware is typically going to be made from some combination of metals like aluminum, stainless steel, or titanium, and you'll definitely see some other cast iron or plastic options as well. All of these materials have solid American sourcing options, but unfortunately we didn't really find too many camping gear manufacturers that are making a lot of their cookware in the US. However, there are still some good options. If you're looking for a good little wood stove for camping, check out Bush Buddy Stoves. They're making some really high quality camping stoves in their off-grid facility in the middle of nowhere, Alaska. They are a bit delayed on shipping times right now, but definitely still worth checking out. If you want a bigger tent stove, check out Four Dog Stove or Seek Outside Tent Stoves, both great options there. And for lighting that fire in your stove, look for Exotac Fire Rods, a great little handy tool to have on your next camping trip. I also want to give you all some recommendations on water bottles, lots of good options here. The classic Nalgene is made in the USA, and if you're looking for something of a more stainless steel variety, look for the original bottles from Liberty Works, which are made in the USA. And for filtering that water, Sawyer is a good option, and although they have a couple of raw materials that they are importing, the majority of their production and materials used in their water filtration systems are sourced from the US, so check out their Micro Squeeze water filtration system to keep your drinking water clean. All right, let's move on to some hardware and other gear. First up is flashlights, and there are really two standout American-made manufacturers here, and that is Maglite and Surefire. Both are classic names in the industry, and although they do import a couple of small raw materials, both companies are very dedicated to American manufacturing. We actually spoke to the team at MAG, and they pretty much only import a couple of small raw materials where they just can't find production in the US that meets their quality standards. And even when that does happen, they are working to really cultivate American manufacturing for those specific products, and occasionally actually bringing production of those specific raw materials in-house so that they can manage it in their American-made facilities. Staying in the lights category for a second, if you need a headlamp, Princeton Tech headlamps are a great option that have been around for a long time. All right, staying in hardware and other gear, I'm just gonna jump around to some random stuff to finish this out today. First, if you need a good camp chair, check out Kermit Chair Company. They make some great wooden camp chairs that you can take, especially if you're just doing some car camping. And finally, if you're a climber and need some rope, check out the Atwood Manufacturing Company's Paracord. It's some of the best in the country. Now let's get to some of the big players in the industry and where they are actually made. First up is MSR gear made in the USA. So MSR or Mountain Safety Research is actually a sub-brand of a larger camping product conglomerate called Cascade Designs. You may recognize a couple of the other brands in their portfolio, 
like Thermarest, Platypus, and a bunch of others. As for MSR, the country of origin for a lot of their products is a bit all over the place. A lot of their popular cookware is made in Korea. I was able to find a couple of cookware pieces that are at least assembled in the USA, so if you need to go with MSR, stuff like their Whisper Light International stove is assembled here, as well as a few others, just make sure to check the tech specs tab of their product pages where they list the country of origin there, or if you're shopping in store, it should just be stamped right on the product or packaging. Next is Mountain Hardware Gear made in the USA. Mountain Hardware is a subsidiary of Columbia, the big outdoor brand that acquired them back in 2003. And unfortunately, a lot of Mountain Hardware gear is manufactured overseas in countries like Vietnam and other Asian countries. Next is Marmot Gear made in the USA. So similar to Mountain Hardware, Marmot is another outdoor gear brand that is owned by a larger parent company. These guys are owned by Newell Brands, which is one of the largest consumer products conglomerate uh, on the planet. Now, as for the manufacturing of Marmot products, unfortunately, a lot of their stuff is imported from countries like Thailand, Vietnam, China, and other countries. Next is the North Face gear made in the USA. Pretty much all gear from the North Face is not made in the USA. They launched a half-hearted attempt to manufacture here back in 2014 when they launched their backyard project, but it seems like it's pretty much all but fizzled out at this point. And lastly is Kelty Gear made in the USA. So Kelty is another very popular brand in the outdoor gear space, mostly known for their backpacks. They also make tents, sleeping bags, and a bunch of other gear. A lot of their stuff is not made in the USA. They do have some US made options, albeit with a few raw materials that are seemingly imported. But as of the filming of today's video, a lot of that stuff is out of stock. But if you have to go with Kelty, definitely look for that American flag on their product pages. All right, that's it for this video on how to find camping gear made in the USA. If you have any questions, drop a comment below or shoot us a message at All American Reviews and we will find out for you. And as always, if you like this video, remember to like and subscribe. And thanks for supporting your country and shopping American made. See you all next time.